And put one in the top corner. Comes out to Moat. Could he hit it first time? I don't know. Certainly never had time for a touch. Here's Leonard. Ball over the top. Oh, and Kipre here. always inadvertently headed it straight to Watmore. Here's Duncan Watmore. Pokes it past Palmer. And pokes it into the bottom corner. And Millwall have taken a lead here. Inside the opening, 22 minutes down at the den. Duncan Watmore on target. I don't know, I've just got this feeling about us. We just seem to be a little bit slow. There's the ball over the top, and Obafemi's in behind. Palmer stays where he is. Obafemi volleys oh, the ball straight into Alex Palmer. Wow, wow, wow. And the easier option there, Andy, was to loop it wow, over wow, Alex wow. Palmer's head. It's one long ball that has almost caught Albion Coles and it was almost a second goal for Millwall and in fairness he could have put it anywhere apart from where, where he did why he took it then I don't know he'll be whipped in here by Johnson towards oh, the near post and flicked on by Darnell Furlong who couldn't quite squeeze it in yeah it was definitely straight off the training round wasn't it you could see that purposely delivered into that area and a good run from Furlong here is Furlong tries to Play it forward to Yakuzlu. Albion have lost it here. Here's Obafemi, and it falls for Watmore, who wow. fires her with the top of the crossbar wow, from inside wow, wow. the penalty area. He was only a yard or two away from the penalty spot. What an opportunity for Duncan Watmore. What a massive, massive let off for West Bromwich Albion under. Well, that's one in the first half and one in the second half. Really, it should be 3 0, shouldn't it? We are at sixes and sevens at the moment. We really are. Long throw from Townsend, looking for Thomas Asante, headed away, and then Yukuzlu catches up a Femi, but a took the ball tackle. first. And now here's John Swift to Furlong, Albion attacking with intent on the right-hand side. Furlong with Diangana ahead of him. Here is Grady Diangana into the penalty area, twisting and turning, he's caught by Joe. Yes, it it's gives a penalty, a penalty for West Bromwich Albion. <laughs> <laughs> One brilliant bit of quick footwork from Grady Diangana against Joe Bryan, who is defended well against the Albion number 11 all afternoon but not there well that's what he gives you Grady he's not been in the game at all he's had a quiet game not done a lot but that's what he can do you know he can he can turn the game just like that with a, with a little touch away and he's caught him at the den Swift up against Sarkic right footed yeah! yes! get in there. into the bottom corner get in there Swift as good a penalty as you're likely to see Sarkic no chance even though he went the right way and Albion there it is come on then terms in the big smoke come on then I mean it's a great penalty I don't care what you say from from 12 yards if you hit the ball cleanly it don't matter if the keeper guesses the right way right in front of the fans as well they're boing boing and they haven't had a lot of boing boing about all afternoon but they're boing boing in now now can we go on Mo oh what a ball that is you've got to, be, you've got to make Fellows, the box flag stays down two inside the penalty area Tom Fellows on it for Albion pulls it backwards it's a strike at goal from Alex Mowat and it's straight into the gloves of Matthias Sarkic but now we're starting to see oh, Albion yes. play with a bit of freedom oh yes it's a lovely ball from Alex Mowat inside the fullback Tom Fellows makes a great run he cuts it back to Moat, just no power in the shot really. Diagana was free on the far stick.